Bubbles! Isn't it fascinating that something rather inconspicuous or invisible such as air could be trapped and form these be beautiful bubbles? No? Um, what if I tell you that not only bubbles, no, not, only, uh, bu that, not only that the air can make bubbles, but we could actually create medicine out of thin air? Ladies and gentlemen, I am not talking here about magic, but what I am telling you, or the story for you tonight, is a story of our group's research. It is about gas-liquid photochemistry. What does it do? Essentially, it is uh, a quite uh, technical topic, but it all boils down to three considerations. Number one, we aim to do late-stage functionalization. That means we use a certain drug molecule. It could be antibiotic, it could be a tropanoid, or it could be anti-cancer treatments such as these. And basically, we would like to attach new um, fragments to it and change its biological mechanism. And what uh, essential or what abundant resource we have is gas. It's everywhere, and thus we thought maybe we could use gas. So that is what we did. Essentially, we use um, gas bubbles and um, fluid. We combine it in a photoreactor and hoping that the chemistry would work. But there is one essential element that is needed for it to do the chemical transformation, and that is the use of photocatalyst and light. What is a photocatalyst? It is essentially a compound that harnesses energy from the light, well, and um, it allows the chemical transformation, such as attaching gas bubbles, to these types of medicine. Does this chemistry or process ring a bell to you guys? Yes, it is photosynthesis. It is how plants create their food, how plants create their metabolites. And in all practical sense, what we're doing is we are rep replicating or mimicking photosynthesis in the laboratory. Ladies and gentlemen, I guess my final words for you or my message for you tonight is not the technicalities and jargons of the um, chemistry that I do, but rather the um, look around. Maybe the things that you, uh, maybe the uh, things that you needed, or to solve problems, is just around you. And I hope at the end of the day, when you see bubbles around the corner, you would say, "Oh my gas! We can actually create medicines out of thin air." Thank you very much. Yeah.